Well, welcome everybody to our first Women Lead webinar of the new year 2020. Very excited to have you here. And I'm very excited about our presenter today. First of all, I'm Patty Vargas. I'm your host today for this Women Lead webinar presented by Connected Women of Influence. And my resident expert today is Melissa Tong of Duck Punk Productions. I have to say that very, very carefully. So I practice how to say that. <laughs> but Melissa has more than 25 years experience in the business, um, starting with news reporting and being an anchor and so forth. But in more recent years, I'm going to let her share with you what she's really been focusing on in, in the most recent years. It's pretty exciting stuff goes along with our title today of why video is so important in your business. And good for us that she is devoting a portion of her time and her business to helping small businesses use video to promote their business, to gain more clients, and to increase their visibility. So without further ado, I'm just going to hand this over to Melissa and let her tell you more about herself and why this is such a great topic today. So welcome, Melissa. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, get your pen, pencil, and paper ready because there's so much information I'll be sharing with you here, okay? Pencil All right, point. so let's get started. So, oh, okay, so how come my arrow keys start working again? Hang on. There you go. Okay. All right. Whoops. Okay. So, yeah, it is a little bit of a tongue tie to be able to say duck punk. And if we have time, I will tell you at the end how I came up with that name. So moving along, why video? Now, I don't know if you know this fact. Most people can retain 95% of the message in the video compared to only 10% of what they read in text. 95% versus 10%, okay? Uh -huh. That number is huge. Mm -hmm. And this is not made up. This, this is like research you know, they've done. This is like numbers from, from very many studies, okay? So, now, why do you think the reasons are? First of all, we're receiving the information both audibly and visually. Now, we are both, you know, we, we, we human beings. Reading is only visual and hearing is only audio. But if we combine that with the two and adding moving images, that can really stimulate our brain and our senses. Now, why do you think and what do you think is the most crucial factor for video? Sales. Duh. <laughs> Duh, right? And how do we generate sales? I know I can't hear or, or see you, but you know, I want, to, I want you to ask yourself this question. How do we generate sales? Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? We yeah. need customers. Without customers, we have no sales. And how do we get customers? What do you think that is? Communicate. We have to be able to communicate effectively and powerfully about what we sell. If we are not able to communicate, then we're not going to be able to get customers. It's really as simple as that. So before we dive into um, more about video, I want to ask you guys a question. Why do you think people buy? What do you think is the fundamental reason why people buy? They buy because they believe their lives will be better or different afterwards. A buying decision is never made based on facts. A buying decision is always made based on emotions. Now, after we buy though, we do use the facts to justify why we buy so we can feel good about spending the money. I'll give you an example here. How many times you have bought a pair of shoes or a piece, you know, or, or top or dress or something. And then you, you, you're thinking is, oh, I need this to go along. Let's say if you buy a pair of shoes, they say, oh, this pair of shoes will go perfectly with that dress. If you buy a top, you go, oh, I need this top because it's going to match with this, you know, this, this a pan, a pair of pants or, you know, um, you know, something. So we always will justify why we buy. But when we buy, 
you, we don't buy based on facts. We buy based on emotions. Okay, this is very, very crucial. So I don't mm -hmm. want you to forget that. That's a key point, yeah. Yeah. So what do you think is your challenges for not moving forward with video? Now, I'm sure some of you can relate. You don't know how to begin. You don't know what to say. You don't think you're convincing enough. You don't think you're confident enough to go on camera. You don't think you look good enough. And it feels too exposed and vulnerable. Right? We all have that. Yeah. But aside from feeling not being confident and not feeling you look good enough or you're good enough or you're convincing enough, aside from all that mindset and, um, you know, beliefs, there is one main challenge. And that is given you're confident enough, given that you, 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 you know, you're so confident, your confidence is like, you know, totally off, you know, the chart. But still, there's still one real challenge. And that is you don't know what to say and you're worried about your message. It's not effective. Therefore, it won't bring any results. Now, if I ask you a question and say, how many of you are 100% confident that you are communicating what you want to communicate in the most impactful and successful way to your audience? How many of you can actually raise your hand and say you're 100% sure that you're doing that? Nope, not me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. See, so we always have room to improve. And communication is key. And how you communicate with your customers, you know, is the crucial factor that makes, that can make or break your business. All right. So I want, oops, click too fast. Okay. So I did a, I did an experiment at a marketing conference with 500 something people last year. I decided to do a, um, I decided to do a test. I wanted to see how people how people um, put themselves on camera and I want to see how people tell the stories on camera. And so I, I got a volunteer, um, this woman called Lynn Murphy, and she's writing a book. So I asked her, okay, why don't you tell us why you want to write a book? And, um, and then we'll, that's example one. And then example two, you know, um, I'm going to show you a different way of how you say it. And then we'll see if there's any difference. So I want you to watch these back to back. And then you tell me which one you like best. Hi, I'm Lynn Murphy, and we're talking about my new book coming out called Women Who Push the Limit. This started with discussion with my coach, who has been telling me for years, it's time to write a book. And I wasn't really happy with the ideas that I had come up with to do that. But we came up with an idea for women who are making a difference in the world. It came out of the the midterm elections, where there were so many women who were running for office, putting their name in the hat, and standing up and saying, this is what needs to happen. This is the world that we need to live in, and we want to make that change. And I decided to interview women who are pushing the limits in all areas. So, you know, not just celebrities or people who are semi-celebrities, but everyday women who can inspire other women to do what they want to do to, to push through those obstructions those obstacles and reach their goals reach their dreams so it's going to be a combination of women some that never people have never heard of them and other women that say oh yes i know who that is so i've got a great combination of women to do this we really want to celebrate the women who have done these amazing, amazing things. Some of them are best kept secrets. Celebrate them, get their stories out, and then let other women understand that they can do what they need to do, what they've always wanted to do, or what their obstacles are setting up for them in their lives. Okay, example two. Hi, I'm Lynn Murphy, and I'm writing a new book called Women Who Push the Limits. You know, I grew up with a wonderful family, and I always wanted to be a teacher. 
and they encouraged me to be that, but never to take risks. It was always about being safe, playing it safe. And I did that for so many years of my life. Didn't really work out that well. I wasn't really satisfied. And I've changed careers several times in my decades on this earth. And now I know that it's so important to risk and to, to push for things that I really want. So I want to inspire other women through the stories that that this group of women I'm collecting and weaving together can inspire women, and even men, you know, who care about other women, care about the women in their lives, to push those limits and to go for their dreams and go for their goals and to understand that the fear is going to be part of it. How do you overcome those obstacles and be true to who you really are to be authentic and to get your message out there? So these women who I'm gathering are going to share these amazing, amazing stories and are inspiring other women to know that you don't have to be famous. You don't have to be rich. You can inspire other women to do what they need to do to claim their lives and have much better lives, to take those risks and to push the limits. Okay, first of all, I have to apologize. I think because if we're in this presentation mode, so the video is lacking a little bit. <clears throat> That's why it's not syncing the way it's supposed to be. But you know, in real life, you watch it by itself. It's not like that. Anyway, so I want to say, do you guys notice, notice any difference? Which one do you like most, Patty? Yeah, definitely the, the second one. Right, the second one, right? right? And why do you think, what do you think is the difference between the number one and number two? At the first, she was just kind of talking about, hey, I'm writing a book, and mm -hmm. this is what it's about. And the second one, she started out with, I was not encouraged to take risks. You know, here she's writing a book about women that are pushing the limits, and, and, but she was not encouraged to do that herself. Right, exactly. But the real difference is yep. the story. Okay, and I'll, 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 I'll show you why. So the first video is all about facts. She goes nonstop about all these facts. The second video is telling a story with the facts. Now the facts are all there about why she wants to write a book, but the second one has, a, has the story behind it. She tells a story about how, how she was growing up and how she was not satisfied and that you know, leads to why she wants to write a book. So the first one is all about facts and we can only absorb that much information. So when you go, you know, when you keep on about the facts, nobody can really retain the information anymore. But when you tell a story, you're actually creating an emotional connection with your audience. And that emotional connection will influence your, your audience buying decision. And that's why storytelling is key. So it's not just about having a video. It's what you say in the video that matters and how you say it that matters. Melissa, can I stop you there for just a second? Because there's yeah. a question that yeah. somebody submitted in the chat um, okay. that is that something you help people see because we do start with all the facts here's what i'm going to do and here's what i'm going to tell you and here's my business blah 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 but do you help people understand that it's the story do you help them come up with that story yes i not only help you um i only not help you differentiate and and i actually help you craft a story that you can use to sell great that's my specialty Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Okay, so now we know it's video and storytelling. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I am and what I do. So I'm a award winning storyteller, and how I got good at it. Um, okay, before that, I help brands and entrepreneurs craft a compelling story to get the customers to buy. And how I got good at it was because I started as a TV news anchor, reporter, and producer at the International Channel. They're one of the first satellite TV stations in the US. So at the time, because I was a newbie, um, I was given a five-minute daily human interest segment, 
where I could cover anything but hot news. So I will be covering beauty, technology, science, uh, entertainment stories, movie premieres, Star Trek conventions, you name it. In those four years, I interviewed thousands of people from, I interviewed over thousands of, I mean, thousands of people from all walks of life. And then I covered over 1200 stories. So that time really, I mean, you know, during those four years, it really honed my storytelling skills because I've covered so many different kinds of stories. And now, I mean, I can do it so naturally. I mean, it, it's like, it's like in my blood, it's in my genes. I, I can't turn it off. Um, and I do that every single day with my clients. So, um, so after I did that job, I moved over to the fiction side and then I worked on the show on CBS called Martial Law. Um, and then I started doing independent movies and documentaries and I started my own company, Duck Punk, um, in 2000. And I've been producing and directing broadcast TV commercials for Fortune 500 companies, worked a lot with major celebrities such as Shaquille O'Neal, Brian Cranston, Michael Phelps, Yao Ming, um, and I work with small and large companies on branding and storytelling. So these are some of our clients. These are some of our awards. <clears throat> wow. Impressive. So I want, yeah, sorry. Impressive. Yeah, I've done a lot, I have to say. Um, so uh, I want to show you there are four major types of videos. Branding videos, website videos, content videos, and testimonial videos. So branding videos are usually high concept, very catchy, has a storyline that may involve actors. It is professionally shot, usually show on TV and landing pages online, and has a much bigger budget. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you some examples so you have an idea what that looks like. Great. So this is something we did for the California Department of Health. And a lot of people have seen this one. Um, this is an anti-smoking, this, this spot is one of the um, spots from an anti-smoking campaign. You inhale. They inhale. Millions of children continue to be exposed to secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke causes asthma, a disease that cannot be cured. Protect your loved ones. So in this campaign, we um, raised the 1-800 hotline calls by 70%. Wow. Wow. That is really, you know, I just have to make a comment on that, that um, whether anything was said or not, just watching the video would, would say everything. Yeah, because there's a story behind it, right? Yeah. So the story is, hey, if you smoke, then look what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the next one is website videos. Now, website videos is kind of like your virtual resume. It is also professionally shot. It tells a story about the company. It explains the service or the product the company offers. It builds trust with customers. And it has a much smaller budget compared to branding videos. So we did this for a local um, award winning air conditioning and, oh, sorry, uh, air conditioning and um, uh, heating company. And they call Brody for them. Since I've arrived here at Brody Pinnell, we've had a significant increase in our volume of business, which I'm certainly proud of, but don't take the credit for. I've learned over my 45 years of experience that hiring great personnel makes all the difference in the world of running a company. It also makes it the fact that people want to do business with a successful company that operates them. The employees are the most important thing no employees, there is no company. I'm proud to say the tenure of our company's employees and team members has been well over 10 years. This is something that you do not see in our industry or probably many other industries around the globe. 
Hi, my name is Brian Steger. I'm a consultant here with Brody Canal Heating and Air Conditioning. Uh, one of the things I like about my job is that every day brings a new adventure. I get to meet new people uh, all the time, get to have some very interesting conversations with them in their home. And uh, my goal is to make them comfortable whenever they are in their home with uh, heating and air conditioning products. Hi, my name is Grace. I am supervisor of the customer service department and dispatch area. I've been working here for 19 years and coming to work here has been unbelievable. This has become my family. I love it here. In my 45 years in business, I found that my integrity is the most important thing to me. So it's very important that all client promises are met and we exceed their expectations. That is why I take reviews very seriously. I answer them all myself. All team members are instructed to handle the client's needs promptly, courteously, and deliver as needed. I'm really excited about our training program. We have nine out of our 10 technicians are NAIT certified. Most companies do not have this. Also, we are a carrier factory authorized dealer, which means that both team members and management has to attend classes throughout the year in order to keep up with the carrier factory authorized guidelines. I'm very proud to announce that we have received carrier's highest honor, the President's Award. We are only one of two dealers that have achieved this accomplishment 12 years in a row since its inception in the entire North American continent. Furthermore, in 2018, we are the only carrier dealer to receive this award in the entire Los Angeles County. Our company slogan is, no matter the weather, we will make it better. I feel that we differ ourselves from the competition by simply our professionalism. We provide service on all various products, and not only that, we will take on any job. No job is too big or too small for us. can oh okay got it okay sorry the video was really lacking um anyway so uh, the Melissa, third type of Melissa just yeah. so you know um on this end it's not lagging it looks great oh oh really mm -hmm. oh because on my end it's really lagging oh so interesting okay good so um content videos so content videos are usually quick and simple no high concept can be about tips and offer an announcement, a review, et cetera, and can be recorded with a cell phone and mostly used for social media purposes. And this is an example. Hi, my name is Lauren Zahn. My company is Fitness ABC. And I'm Steve Connors. What do you think two old guys like us can tell you about your computer? So I'm, what I'm going to tell you is why I started my business. 26 years ago, I was dealing with guys that do what I did now. And they weren't showing up. They weren't being concerned about my business. And it drove me crazy. That's why I started my business in the first place. Because I knew I could do a better job and get better This is cool. We love our clients. We want to make sure that we listen to every single concern that they have. When someone calls us, we're going to show up and promptly, because we know what it's like, not be able to do your work. We deal with computers. We deal with print. We deal with security. We deal with anything having to do with the internet. Those things have to work because 20 years ago, if they weren't working, no big deal. Now, you're out of business. Social media, email, staying connected to your clientele is the most important thing that you have to do. And if there's a hole that someone can break in and steal your business or your clients, you're going to be out of business. So Melissa, there there yeah. is a question that's been posed that the difference between um, the first one about the heating and air conditioning and then this one being recorded with a cell phone, right. um, the, the
the volume was a little softer because obviously it's being picked up by the phone, right? So well, actually, no, 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 no. That's not the reason. Um, oh, okay. So, so um, because um, because we these different videos, um, I'll put it different in different ways and different formats. So we didn't actually um, um, tune the levels at the same way. Oh. That's why some are, some are louder, some are softer. It's not because it was recorded with the cell phone. That's oh, good reason. to know. Okay, <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions before I move on? No, that that was it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the next type is testimonial videos. Now this one can be from your most loyal customers. They can talk about their experience working with you or the results they get from working with you. And this one can also be recorded with a cell phone. Hi, I'm Lynn Murphy, and I had the most amazing experience with a story makeover that Melissa Tong did. She was able to get to my why I'm doing what I'm doing. I was telling her all the what, and I was in my head, and she so beautifully and calmly and expertly got to why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it just changed the whole story. It changed how it came out and it changed the impact of my story. I am so excited that I had the opportunity to do this with Melissa. And I know that when I put this up, I'm gonna get such a reaction from it on my Facebook page and on my website. I can't thank her enough for what she did in helping me go from my head to my heart and understand the why of my story. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. So, um, I mean, I kind of did it pretty quickly. <laughs> so, <laughs> because we, you know, we did a task and it was, it was like a little too long. So now we actually almost, you know, finished with all the slides. So I really want you guys to think about all the, um, any questions that you might have. And I, I do want to emphasize that, um, like Lynn Murphy said, when she was, I mean, you know, the experiment that, the experiment that I did, it was, it was just 15 minutes. Um, I just talked to her very, very briefly about, um, I basically took all her facts and then I told her, okay, forget about this. Just, just speak from your heart. And then also, um, you know, I mean, I, I gave her a few pointers in terms of how to, you know, tell the story and, and the difference is just humongous. Um, so I just want to point that out. Now, video and storytelling. So if you have both, it can really solve your sales problem because you're finally able to say what your customers need to hear. And you can get more quality, quality leads, you can get more sales and be less stressed, and then you can finally relax and enjoy the flow of abundance. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you some actionable steps. First of all, you have to decide if you're satisfied with your sales volume. And some of you may say, oh, I'm actually at a very good place. I, I cannot handle more clients. I'm good. And so that's good. You know, that's very good. But for, the, for those of you who feel like, you know what? I can definitely do more sales. I can definitely use more clients. Um, then look at how, how much more sales you want to do try to put a number on it, either a money number or a uh, client number, and then see which type of video resonates with you the most. I show you four types, and those are pretty much, those are pretty much it. Um, I mean, of course, they're variations, but you know, any type of video will fall under those categories. And then determine your budget. This is also very key. Because a lot of times, if you don't cover a budget for things, um, then it's very hard to actually do it. So determine what your budget is. If you say, you know what, for now, I only have a very, very small budget, then maybe just do some social media um, content for now. And then you say, oh, you know what, we actually do have a little bit of a you know, marketing budget to do a website video, and we want to do it well, then do a website video. 
But when you go, oh, you know what? We have this huge product launch coming up and we really, really want to blast it. So let's do a branding video. So let's just decide which one, um, which one you know, fits your needs the most. So here's a, here's a question for you um, that just came in. What did you mean by maybe start with social media video? Oh, remember, you know, I was the, the uh, bits and pieces. That's a social media content video. Okay. Meaning that they put that on their Facebook or, or something? Yeah, meaning, yeah, yeah, all social media. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you know, all social media channels. Okay. Great. Yeah. And also make sure that you do not hire <clears throat> a videographer if you need help with crafting your story. Now, I love videographers, don't get me wrong. I mean, videographers are a fancy term for cameramen, okay? So I work with my cameramen all the time, okay? But they are not trained to tell you, to help you craft your story. They are trained to operate the camera. Right. So don't try to hire a cameraman, in other words, a videographer, and then expect them to be able to tell you how you can tell your story in the most effective way because they just, they just don't have the skill sets. They're not trained to do that. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen, you know, people who have spent way too much money <clears throat> hiring videographers and having a video, <clears throat> sorry, that having a video um, that, gained, that have, you know, um, gained no results because, because the messaging in the video, um, it's not working. So when the messaging in the video is not working, you cannot expect the video to give you the results that you want. See, it's not just ha about having a video. It's about what you're saying in the video. It's about the messaging. It's about the story. So just pay very attention to it. And if you're not sure, ask them um, to give you samples. Mm -hmm. Ask them for re references. Talk to their clients, you know, and make sure they can give you what you want. Otherwise, it's money wasted. Good. So today, um, I want to offer my... CWB, I mean, sorry, CWB, I tried some very, very special offers. Now, I have a social media content package, and it is $499. And then in this session, you will get 60-minute um, time with me, and then you'll get six story outlines to promote your business. And with these six story outlines, you can basically, um, <clears throat> you can basically recycle it at least twice, so let's look at it this way. If you put out one content a week, so you get six weeks. So six weeks, if you recycle it twice, you get basically three months of content and you can regenerate it more than twice. Somebody, I mean, you know, um, six weeks later, nobody's gonna remember your first post anyway. Right. So it will last you for a few months. And if you want us to film for you as well, and then we're not gonna use cell phones, we actually will come with a crew. Um, and we will, um, we, you have to pay um, additional $1,500 and we'll film all six videos for you in one day. And these videos up to one minute long each. Okay. Melissa, so is, do, you, yeah. do you come to the client or does the client come to your studio? Well, if we do the, just do the story session, um, we can actually do it on the phone. Mm -hmm. But when, when it comes to filming, I like to film at their location because then the customers can get a taste of what their, of what their business is like. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So the next one is the website story package. So it's a 90 minute session and it's fourteen ninety nine you get a breakdown of the storyline for your website video. Now, if you want us to film it for you, um, it's additional 4,000. And again, we film at your location and it's limited to one location. Mm -hmm. And this video is up to three minute long, very much like the Brody Pennell uh, video. Right. And then like with that one, you would be adding the music on top and yeah, all of that. So you yeah. get a, you'll get a finished video. Okay. That was a beautiful video. Yeah, that's ready to be put up on your website. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one is a branding video package. So this one, it's a little bit more expensive. It's $4,999. You know, $4 and you get three high concept storyline proposals. You will pick one out of the three for filming. 
Now, since we don't know what the story is, is going to be about, so I can't really have a budget for this. So the shooting budget will be calculated depending on which concept we will move forward with. And then uh, finally, the test testimonial video package. So um, 3999, this one film up to three customers on the same day at the sole, uh, same location. All videos are between 60 to 90 seconds in length. And if your customer needs scripting or story help, there's an additional 499 for one hour session. So in other words, if your customer say, okay, great, I will do it for you, but you have to tell me what I want, what, what you want me to say. I, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. then, um, then we'll do a session with them and then we'll coach them and tell them exactly what to say. <clears throat> and then we'll come out and shoot it. Great. This yeah. Great. Lots of options. That's great, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. I want to give you options because I mean, really, like I said, you know, um, there are four main types of videos out there. And, and their variations, but each, you know, really falls under the same, um, under the same category. So I always end my talk with this quote, the meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. So I truly believe that we all born with something special to, to give and to gift the world. So I want you to all use your geniuses to help the people you're supposed to help. Now, I want to leave you with my information and I want to give you one freebie. And I have a free ebook online. It's on a different website. And that is how to be a rock star on camera. So if you go to rockstaroncamera.com, um, you can download this ebook for free. Now, since we have a little bit of time, if you have any questions, please post them and I will answer them. And then um, I will tell you how I came up with the Duck Pung uh, name. <laughs> yeah. So back in... <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. yeah. You know, back in 2000, I was trying to find a name for my company. And I was at this lake in Culver City, just walking around. And uh, I was uh, feeding the ducks. There was a lick there. I was feeding the ducks with breadcrumbs. There was this duck who had a mohawk, just <laughs> like my logo. At the time, I mean, 2000, there were no camera on the phones. So I couldn't even take a picture of him. But we, I was feeding and then 45 minutes later, all the other dogs were going, oh, I'm full, I'm hanging, I'm, I'm, you know, I can't be bothered. I'm just hanging out, you know, don't even, don't even throw stuff at me. I'm not gonna eat it. But this Mohawk dog, he would charge over every single time to get to the food. <laughs> and I kept looking at him thinking, wow, You've been eating this whole time. How can you, how, how, how hungry can you be? I mean, how, how much more can you eat, right? So I went home and then for some reason, I could not shake that image off my head. So I kept thinking, I kept kind of imagining and thinking, okay, um, so Mohawk, you know, Punk Rock, um, Punk Duck. <laughs> and then weeks later, I decided to name my company Duck Punk. But that's actually half the story. So years later, um, I work in a very, very male-oriented and very competitive field, you know, advertising, marketing, and, and entertainment. I also do independent movies and documentaries on the side. So every time I have to jump across a hurdle, I have to remind myself to be like that duck, to never give up. So he became my inspiration. That's great. That is a great story. And, and when you first started talking about the duck that kept going, like jumping over everybody and going after all this food and stuff, I thought, yeah, that's what we have to be in business sometimes is just be persistent and, right. uh, and, and have a lot of stamina to keep going after it. Yeah. I mean, as a woman entrepreneur, you really cannot give up. And this is not about being aggressive. This is right. about perseverance. This yeah. is about believing in yourself believing in your vision, believing in your desire. Yeah. And um, we, have to, we have to go after what we want. Yes. Otherwise, it's not gonna be handed to us. Exactly. So here is a question um, from one of the participants. Have you ever had a customer come to you that you could not help? Like their business was just not suitable for video or the message was, was not on point. Anyone you've never been able to help? 
actually no <laughs> and i'll tell you why um yes message not on point all the time okay but there's always a way to find a story and i'll use the brody panel as an example when it first came to us they were like oh okay we want to do a video for our website can you come out and then film us doing installation we, but we have to figure out, you know, if we can get a permit to have you guys film as well, because sometimes we do, we do, um, we do, uh, you know, we, we've installed at personal homes and I, I, you know, we need to make sure that people are okay for you to come in, you know, with our technicians. And I was like, whoa, okay, just stop for a second. <laughs> I know in your world, maybe installation is very, um, it's very exciting, but to, to your customers, I'm not sure they need to see and they want to see installation because for one, that is very technical. And then number two, it doesn't create any emotional connection. I mean, how am I gonna feel just seeing your technicians installing? It's very hard to create emotional connection showing installation. So I had to convince them to, you know what? I don't think we should film that at all. Let me see if I can come up with a story they can help you connect. And that's what we came up with. That is brilliant. I mean, that story right there just justified why you would want a storyteller to be guiding you in this. Because with them wanting you to film them doing a demonstration is the facts part. But right, what exactly. was so, yeah, what was so beautiful about that video was how long we've been in business, look at the awards we've won, look how happy our employees are, and all of that translates to satisfied customers. So that's, that's brilliant. That's, that's it right there. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you have to, I mean, why, why, I mean, okay, if I would hire, you know, a, a you know, um, heating and conditioning company, right, what would I look at? Mm -hmm. So I would look at, okay, is this company, you know, um, have they been around, right? Are they reputable? Um, uh, do they have satisfied customers? So if I know that all the employees have been there for like 19 years, that means, you know, they are not going to go away and people are happy working there. So that means they have a good reputation. So yeah, I have no problem hiring them. You see, because you have to look at why people decide, see yeah. why people buy that, you know, that's why I always think about, okay, why do your customers buy you? You see, every business is different. So I kind of reverse engineer it. And then figure out, okay, I need to look at why, like, for example, Bori Pinnell, why do the customers buy them? What are the factors they look at? And then I create a story based on how they buy, how they make the decision, and then create that emotional connection there. And then in the end, it's like a no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Here's another question is, um, where would you suggest a newbie starts in terms of, whether it's a testimonial video or a promotional video, what, if I've never done this before, where would you suggest that I start? Um, where in terms of where in social media or, or how? Yeah, what type of, of video should I start with? I think is- Oh, what type, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have not done anything before, um, then, I would suggest you start with something more basic, start with some um, social media content videos because that is not over, that is not, that shouldn't be very overwhelming because that's a, you know, that is something simpler and just basically start um, communicating with your customers about what you do. Great, good, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna leave it open for just another minute or so. Mm -hmm. If you've got any additional questions, just put them in the chat and I will um, share those with Melissa. But personally, I think this has just been, been fabulous. As somebody who kind of tends to get lost in the weeds of facts and figures and details, um, it's really helpful to see why people do make decisions based on emotion. People are moved by a story they're not necessarily moved by facts and figures yeah we never moved by facts facts are just facts. I mean we need facts like I said we need facts to justify why we buy right, right. but we never buy based on facts right wonderful yeah that's just it 
And, um, and Patty, I think we're going to schedule <clears throat> another seminar later on, right? Yes, uh, we are. How to, be, how to be a rock star on camera. So I'm going to do another one. And this one is like more, more Q&A based. And I'm going to um, answer any questions you may have about how to, be, how to be confident and how to be a rock star on camera <clears throat> for your business. Yes, yeah. So everyone be watching for those as we get those scheduled up. You'll see them posted on social media, inviting you to join those. Um, and as far as this webinar goes, I think this has just been fabulous. This has been full of lots and lots of information, Melissa. And, and I know that this is going to be one of our more popular webinars possibly, you know, in the future as far as being posted and downloaded and reviewed over and over again. But people don't know what they don't know. And, and so this is, is such a specialty area and, so, and yet so important to differentiate you from your competition that um, I think this has just brought a wealth of information and I'm, I'm so grateful that you took your time to join us today. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and I'm on <clears throat> social media as well. So if you want to reach out to me, um, I'm very easily found online. <laughs> So reach out to me and um, you can ask any questions that um, you may have. And I also have a Facebook group called How to Be a Rockstar on Camera. It's a private group. And if you think um, that, you know, information um, about how to be a rockstar on camera can benefit you. So friends, find me on Facebook um, and ask to join that group and I will approve you. Great. Thanks so much again, Melissa. And thank you to everybody who's joined us here today. Um, we hold these webinars once a month for Connected Women of Influence. And we encourage you to check back on the website frequently, look for those replays, refresh your memory of what you might have forgotten, and be sure to share them with your colleagues and with those that you um, interact with. And then look for uh, more events that are coming up from Connected Women of Influence. We would love to have your presence online. Thank you again, Melissa. Appreciate you being with us so much. Absolutely. Thank you for listening.